so in this video i actually want to talk about um do bad things happen to christians do bad things happen to good people yes absolutely and i'm gonna start off by telling you my personal story i was actually doing outreach ministry at an addiction center people that i came with were speaking freely about their walk with christ just about you know keeping the faith and staying strong in the Lord and really, you know, turning your life to the Lord and stuff. When it was my turn to speak, I kind of told them my personal story um, about how I connected again with Christ because I grew up um, in the ministry. I grew up in the church, but I strayed away for a little bit. And, you know, I thought that things that I was doing was good unto God and just, you know, so great and you know i thought that you know because i would pray once in a while or read my bible once in a while that everything was good but what i was missing was a relationship with god so sometimes god will try to get your attention and he will really um use different situations in your life to say you know listen i'm about to shake this up more i need more i need more of you i talked about previous years how i was you know in an abusive relationship and i couldn't really break free of that i was kind of just like under this spell and um what ended up happening was you know a series of tragic events which you guys read my book shaken to become unshaken it was so many you know events that was happening to me that was so bad and I just thought that I was so, you know, why is this happening to me? And towards the end of that relationship, my I totaled my car, I lost my job, and I got a new apartment far away from the guy that I was seeing because I got a protection order against him. So I was looking for some jobs and online and a church called me and when they called me, the church was literally walking distance from my new apartment, you know, after I had just totaled my car. So I was like, oh my gosh, you guys want me to be a Sunday school teacher? Awesome, you know, I'm coming. That's how I connected with the church. And once I connected with the church, you know, everything pretty much fell into place. You know, my walk with God was getting stronger and I finished school. I, you know, became a mental health counseling support and case manager. And I wasn't just a Sunday school teacher at that church, but I became the children's ministry director at that church. So, you know, strange things happen when you're connected with God. Things happen to even Christians. You know, my walk with Christ, it's still not easy. Every day I'm growing more and more. And for the first time in five years, I had fully furnished my house. And what ended up happening was I got water damage. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, but you know, where I'm at now, um, my faith is so unshakable that that happened to me, but I am not even, it's like, okay, this is now, but what's next, pretty much. Um, but whereas two, three years ago, my mindset, like that would have made me beside myself. But because I'm walking with Christ and because I know, you know, he gives you all of the desires of your heart. You know, he gives you what you need when you need it. You know, God said, if I feed the bird and animals, what makes you think that I wouldn't feed you my child? You know, so I don't really have a worry when it comes to that and i want you guys to know something very specific about you what you're doing in your generation and your time right now this matters you know you're gonna do something that your grandma couldn't do you're gonna do something that your mother couldn't do something that your father didn't do something different that they didn't do and this is your walk with christ this is your journey and this is what you're doing so the reason why, you know, bad things may be happening to you or coming against you, even if you think that you're a good person, is because you specifically make hell nervous, okay? You got hell shaking in their boots, okay? Because the moment that you rise up out of your depression, out of your anxiety, out of your fears, and start walking in your power and hand in hand with Christ, hell is going to be nervous, and that's just it. 
you know and when hell is nervous and when they see a person rising up into their power you know obviously things are going to be thrown your direction you know distractions curveballs you know disasters family members um coming at you the you know fit you wouldn't think that family members can be your biggest hater but sometimes family members can be your biggest haters even friends that you that are in your circle that you know are smiling in your face coming to birthday parties they could be you know have something in their heart think about god had to be aware and vigilant and you know aware of what he was coming up against so just be aware of different things that are coming against you don't think it's because you know you're always doing something bad but you know you be a good person and something bad can happen to you so continue on your journey you guys because there is something for you that God wants to give you, but he is waiting for you to receive it. And he is waiting for you to walk with him and, and walk in your power. I just read 1 Samuel 10 through 17 yesterday about Saul. Saul, you know, became king. He didn't even want to be king at first. You know, he hid in the baggage. He didn't know what was going on. So God rose him up and said, come on now, walk in your power. You have to accept this responsibility. And for, you know, Saul reigned for 42 years. You know, he reigned for a long time. But towards the end of his reign, you know, he was not keeping the faith in God. He was not being obedient to him. He was not walking in his power. And God said, you know, no, I told you to do this. You know, so you needed to do this and then this would have happened. All everything that I said would have been fulfilled. You know, my promises would be kept to you. So God has, you know, promised you something and he's waiting to give it to you. But you have to be willing to accept it. You have to be willing to submit to God and you have to be willing to follow his lead. Because listen, guys, it is a process of trust. Okay, people always say uh, a mustard seed. Faith as a, as small as a mustard seed. If you I see a mustard seed, it's very, very tiny, very tiny. Faith is is believing in things that your eyes cannot see. When you get pregnant with a baby, you know you you are gonna raise that baby, you're gonna nurture that baby, and that baby is going to come out, and you're gonna see that baby with your own eyes. Okay, it's just like that. You know, when God gives you something to mature and to nurture and to birth, you know, the moment you birth it, God is going to show you what that was in the end. Okay. So y'all listen, look at your success process and y'all stay blessed.